your future pants. The pants you're going to wear tomorrow, and the next day, and the day after that. Hello again, welcome to this to this session of my life coding adventure. Uh, today I'm going to continue with what I started yesterday. Uh, my APIs, my three APIs are now being deployed to, to Azure. And we want to, or at least I want to create identities for it, add them to groups and assign some application roles to these groups uh, in order to do some authentication inside these APIs. But first, I saw I have a new follower. So uh, let me check the name of this new follower. I should add it to this, to this screen also. So let me twitch Yandev. So this is my channel. Obviously, you know. And where can I see my followers? Michel Schep, thanks for the follow. You're the newest follower and you will be right on, on this screen and in the main screen. So, uh, thank you. I don't have a lot of followers yet, as you can see, but Michel Schep, thank you. So let's continue with uh, today's session. As I mentioned, uh, we have three APIs. So I have this uh, project on uh, on uh, GitHub, Yandev slash secure APIs. And what I want to do is, Octo3 can minimize. Uh, what I want to do today is create identities, uh, well, uh, add men's identities to the APIs. Apparently, I forgot to do this to set the men's identities in the ARM templates before. So, I will be doing this. I want to add them to groups. And, well, add the add roles to the groups. So, I have 
one front-end API which people can call to, uh, let's say anonymous people, um, and this API will call out, make HTTP requests to, to backend APIs, and it will read in the basic in my standard flow, which I'm going to build out first. It will just read, so it needs to read permissions in on both APIs, and I, I'm going to assign some roles for this. So add roles to the groups or the the real data, and I also want to create write uh, write groups. Uh, write, write roles while I'm at it. Also, uh, no, but I don't need to add them yet. So let's let's just min minimize the effort we're going to do today. So this is what I want to do today. I, I'll zoom in a bit. Uh, I'll zoom in a bit. So as you can see, this is the GitHub project. Add managed API and density to the APIs in the ARM template, add them to groups inside Azure Active Directory, and add roles to these groups. So the first two I know how to do this. The second one not yet. I know there's some PowerShell scripting involved, or at least you can do this via PowerShell scripting. Uh, I want to see if there's something in the portal yet available in order to do this, add roles to groups, whatever. Um, so let's get started. Enough to do. So I listened back to the recording of yesterday and the music was way, way too loud. So what I did today is set my desktop volume to 50% and the volume of Pretzel Rocks to 15%, if I'm not mistaken. 10% even. So the desktop volume to 50%, press for to 10%. I checked it before the stream uh, and it's, in my opinion, doable. If it's still too loud, let me know and I'll adjust it during the stream or for next time because I will, I will listen to, re to the recording afterwards. So let's get started. We have our pipeline. We have our ARM templates. I'll just get them over here. So here's the text. So I have my backend for frontend. Where is it? It's over here. A yeah, website. So I need to add identity system assigned if I'm not mistaken. Um, over, this is the server farm over here properties identity type is system assigned so what this does is it will create an identity a new identity inside uh, the Azure Active Directory with the same name as my, well, the name of my website, my web application, my app service. So it's, it's somewhat of a service principle, just a bit different, but you can compare it with it. So now I have this system assigned identity on this uh, app service, and I want to copy paste it on all the others depends on depends on so that's it for this let's see what git org has to say do it off screen so i have the manual identity to the template and push it. Let's also play. 
with some background music. Hopefully it's background music. Otherwise, let me know. So this shouldn't take too much time. And it's done. Now for the release. Let's see where it is. Deploying the infrastructure. This is an important step this time, as I changed the ARM template, so it needs to change something. This is a nice number, nice song, like. So it already deployed a couple of my um, app services. It's deploying the speakers now. So let's see in my deployments if this blade, yes, this blade is working today. So let's see if this this worked. So I've deployed all of the th things, the app settings, the web. This is good because now. I should have my identities inside Azure Active Directory. So I already opened the Enterprise Application Blade and the Application Blade because I don't know for sure which one I need. I think it's the Enterprise Application Blade in order to see, well, in order to see my newly created applications. 
so they should have the same name as my app services so let's first check out this one the name is over here and all applications okay so it's not in the enterprise maybe i should refresh It is turned on, right? So uh, this this blade should be turned on. So I have this object ID. So there should be an identity over here now. If I want a new with search preview. Well, click to enable preview. I see stuff happening over here. All applications. I was expecting to see something over here. Maybe account application, no personal account. So is there something which looks like looks like it in the fire? A lot of old stuff I probably should delete half of these things web application will minify Oh, I have this object ID. Copy. No results. Well, wow, I don't understand this. So I should have an application. Over here now. It's in the users now. No, it's not over here. Maybe there's a PowerShell command. PowerShell add identity from ID. I object ID. this work so this is the ad I want the, the show user let me 
try out something. So. And we log in. So I have to log into my personal account in order to see. You have logged in. Okay. okay. Select subscription. Number two. ID show what was the identity copy does not exist you can control its access learn more some delay if this doesn't work I will have some problems because I need to see the application can sign you in. Okay. something over here is not something I'm looking for would there be a new a new blade for this Solve problems. Man, it's an entity. One moment, my daughter is crying, so I'll, I've started some couple of minutes later yesterday because she was still crying, so I'll get to her now and see her and attend to her. So uh, hopefully you can think of what I'm doing wrong and when I return you have the solution. Be back in a moment.
back. So my wife was uh, just a couple of seconds before me. I hear her again. So let's wait and see what happens. Otherwise, I'll be gone for a couple of seconds. So let's assume, let's assume this is some some timing thing, and my identities are created correctly, and will show up in a couple of minutes in the AD. Show the R back. No rolls, so sad. So this is correct because it has just been created, and I can't find it in AD. So I can't do any role-based authentication. So it, I think the music is quite loud at the moment. Also, I don't like this. Um, so let, well, I'll just continue and assume it has been created correct. Assume this is correct. So I will add these identities to a group. Well, I will first create a group. Multiple groups. So what I mentioned, I want a group which is able to read from this API and write from, to this API and read and write to this API. And this the identity of this service needs to be in the read groups. And I will assign read roles to those groups later on. So, I'll assume I have to create some groups for this. Groups. New group. Security group. No description needed, membership type. It's like dynamic or assigned. Well, I can't do anything. No owners. I'm the owner. Select. No members. I see. There it is. <coughs> so let's turn it up now on the, the users, or at least uh, for members. So there it is. So for the readers, I want the secure API to, to be able to in the read group. So create. And while I'm at it. Get your API writers. I'm again the owner, and no members will be in this this group yet. I will add them later on when the project continues. So, now these are created, and I've added, well, I've done this, add main identities to the APIs. This is the quickest live coding session ever, so 
add it create identities to the group and now I need to add some rules application rules to these groups because I don't want to manage each identity individually I want to manage groups and assign the roles to these groups it makes the life of an administrator easier in my opinion also for a developer because working with roles is much easier compared to groups it has some similarities just roles is easier most of the time I listen to my stream to see if the music isn't too loud. I think it is, but I have to check it over here. I put it on loud, put it on loud, and talk a bit and listen to the music. And while I'm talking talk to the music, and while I'm talking. Talk That wasn't very helpful. So back to the session. Ooh. Next, hammer time. So this is a bit more sound to it. So this is a bit more sound to it. Now let me talk a bit and listen to the song on the stream. Talk a bit and listen to the song on the stream. Talk a bit and listen to the song. Wow, that's some next level inception. <coughs> Okay, so now this identity is added to a group, so assign, like I mentioned, I know there's some PowerShell stuff I can use in order to assign roles to a group. But is there Azure role assignment? Well, this is the Azure role assignments. And I want application roles. No application assignment found. Yes, that's because I guess if I add access control over here, role assignments. Assignment Secure API readers. Oh, where did it go? Discard and model assignment readers. So I can uh, add a role. So these are the, the standard roles. Can I add? Select the permission you want to assign to the principal. Yeah, I want some application specific roles. Can I add them over here? Roles. Add. Role assignment. A role. You can use built in roles or you can create your own custom roles. So how do I create a new custom role? Learn more! Role assignments add Create custom roles overview Just like built-in ones. Oh, 
Okay, so I can custom roles or shared via the same tenant. This makes sense. I can only add 5,000 custom roles per directory. I can see why there's a limitation if it's stored per tenant. I just didn't expect this. Custom role example. So is this the way to add roles? Because there's also the manifest if I'm not mistaken. Group membership. Okay. Um, we clear the roles. Switch up application roles. AD. Architecture center. So this should be roles using AD app roles. Or groups. premium for this. This sounds strange. Specific to the application. Well, that's not true per se, or at least if this is the same. Role definition. Is this an application? Well, maybe this isn't an application role. Maybe these are two th different things. Because our roles are specific to the application. This is what I expect it to be. And not to be shared across a tenant. No claims and not sent to a different. Without. Okay, so maybe I need to upgrade my AD to premium. If you have a backend web API which is separate from the web application. Define the role. Yes, so I can use groups for free. So let, let's just see if I can upgrade my Azure AD. Azure AD, pay. 
pretty sure I don't have Azure ID Premium right now. Let me check it if I can upgrade. Switch, delete. So where's the take my money button? <laughs> I would expect it to be some properties. App registrations. Get a free trial for premium. That should work, but let's let's assume I want to let's assume I want to pay for this stuff. Where would I need to go? Overview. I am now on Azure AD three. So working with role assignments won't work. Fine by me. Tenant restrictions, no. Well, getting started. Get a free trial. Free trial, Azure AD Premium P2. And the premium. So what's the pricing on oh, Azure AD? So now I have three, which is okay. I have P1 and P2. Sign in here to purchase. I'll click this one next. P1 can do lots. Wow. <coughs> We've been assigned to a cell zone to get SSL access. Premium, six bucks per user per month. Okay, which is about five euros. Yeah, five euros. Which is, well, doable. Commerce, well, let me just go for a trial for now. Activate. <coughs> Activate AD Premium P2 trial. Fails to activate. Why? You have already activated this trial before. That's right. I thought it was a different tenant, but apparently this one. 
So, this concludes the show. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Um, so as we can't use rolls for now, I can create a new tenant, maybe. Create a directory. Basic. Next. I can create a new directory. But will it be on... Will it be on this sash? I'll have to ask around. So I have multiple switch directory. I've, I'm already in a couple of directories and I can create a new directory, of course, but then I don't have an Azure subscription on it. So that, that doesn't help a lot. It doesn't help a lot. I should try this on some subscription, which does have a premium tenant. I just don't have those. <laughs> or no, let's 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 not work as a customer's tenant for this because that that would be bad. I'll just go around and work with groups. Groups also work. They just have a couple of limitations. So, groups. So, back. So, uh, I already have two groups, which I w want to add application roles to. Uh, but I can't do this because I don't have an AD premium. So let's add this to the archive and do uh, add identities, add identities to the group. So that's that's done. So I've added my identity to this group. There's a member, the secure API service principal. Let's see, Yante, secure API, Yante. There it is. So it just took some time. There's probably some caching in play. No problem. It worked. There, here now. So I have these, these groups. these identities so i don't actually need these two just this one because it got added and now what i'll do is um oh well, let's go let's go back to the docs application roles so what they're saying over here is yes use application roles because it's easy to manage simple programming model yada yada you just need Azure AD Premium, which is something I can do right now, or at least not on my existing tenants. And if you have a backend API, which is separate from the web application, so let's say you have an Angular application, which is communicating to a web API, the app role assignments for the web app don't apply for the web API, so they both have different security boundaries or at least that's how far i understand that's what i understand so this is the roles part roles 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 yeah so this is the thing i want to do so create a roles 
survey creator or um, speaker creator, speaker reader, conference writer, conference reader, and assign them to the appropriate security, security groups. So this will work. Do I have some security? Uh, AD security groups. <coughs> We're all choosing security groups. Application signs permission to you based on their security group memberships. So this is what we're going to do now. So I will have an application in the Active Directory, have some security groups, um, uh, add a permission to it to do stuff and work with it. So this only works if you're in the same tenant or it can work in a multi-tenant environment it's just not something you should want to do and if you belong to multiple groups yeah if you're in five uh from the top of my head if you're in five groups or more you won't get the security groups inside your token uh, you will only get uh, property as groups, which is set to true. There's a reason for this, because the token can only grow this this big uh, over its claim. Two tokens on it. Yeah. Well, this will work out for my current application and my current implementation later on. But this is something to keep in mind when in a production environment you have to do additional steps in order to get the appropriate groups for a specific user request. So I'll just create an application and set the group membership claims to true. So the groups, app registrations. So I will create a new one, new secure API speakers. So this is the application which I will be using for my speakers API my speakers app service accounts for this directory I don't need multi-tenancy if I'm not mistaken this isn't necessary will return authentication to this URI after providing this now is optional change later so don't need to do anything with this HTTPS mm. uh, okay okay I have okay if you're an API speaker so that's good so this looks good right register so I don't need I need to go to the manifest What we need to do is add this property, set the group membership claims to security group, and it's not there already. Group membership claims is null, so I want to have security groups 
app ID. So this is all the all I need for now. This is all I need for now. Speakers. The customer signs in. The customer needs to enter the group. Object ID is. need to add some permission when new, when a new user signs up the application implementation we need to get group membership claims from Azure ID this makes sense when new customer signs up the application instructs the customer to create Security groups for the roles needed by the application. Okay, which roles are needed by this application? Roles. New customer role. Oh, I also need P1 or 2 for this. It's not what I expected. I also API permission, user read, sign in and read user profile. So that's that should be it. So this isn't what I was looking for. I have some, I have a post on this that I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Manifest security group code to easily use groups. App setting. Okay, so I need something which looks like this. And then this. Oh, so I can misuse security groups in order to do roles. Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. So this is something for the next time. I'll leave this post in my notes. Live coding notes. I don't have a live coding one note. Live coding. No? No? Relay. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 
picture. Change the eyes. Um, which here is this one? So I need this one. And there should be shown. So I need this. Code to easily use groups. Test how it is. If the group claim contains ID of 3 to something something, Three to something something. Here's the worker group. <coughs> so I'll be doing this because this will work. I will get some claims. I will check if the group claim is valid. So this sounds useful, but well, it is on the documentation side. It's archived. It's on a blog by someone in 2017. So maybe this isn't the latest and greatest stuff I should be using. Application security groups 2018. Let's check out my own blog because I know there's something using to authenticate on a different app service. System assigned, using MSI, adding authorization header. You can see the JOT token, setting up your API with authentication, creating new application. So that's what I did just now. And skip the redirect you're configuring, adding scope. Expose an API. That's that's the thing I was looking for. So expose an API. And new I still need to do this one. This is good enough. What's, what's add the scope below this is new scope name and extend APIs Okay, speakers got read. This is new to me. <laughs> Enabled, add scope. So I have this new scope. Let's also add a right. Speaker is on right. Speaker is right. Add scope. And let's see what's behind the fuzzy masks. If it's actually sensitive. No, not really, or at least not compared to the stuff you've already seen. <laughs> I would expect at authorized client applications, apparently not.
this API trusts the application and users should not be asked. All this is for delegated. Or at least I think this is for delegated authorization. And that's the missing. And now I need, next time I will add these blocks. I'll add this one to my one oath also. My own UI first point manner. Create three little groups and move those rows and start. Okay. Hold post. Twenty seventeen. Not that my own blog is this great, or at least I don't know. Uh, but it, this works. It's just the problem with uh, well having groups. So what I'm claims. So I'm retrieving this, the the groups. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see, let's see. First step, second step, and of audiences. Of yeah. okay. the application ID. So this is something I should be able to get from the enterprise application late. But if I'm not mistaken, MSIs don't have. They do have application IDs. So that should be useful. Let me add this client application to the speaker's read. Add application. Error. The client ID provided could not be found. Copy. Yeah, not the application. I copied it wrong, do it. Add application. Client ID provided could not be found. Okay, maybe I need. I'm in enterprise application right now. I probably need. Seven, seven. Probably need. It would be great if you could see something, right? See just something move. Let me remind myself to add some blurring overlay when doing secret stuff. Not very secret because a lot of the stuff is already in the public of my GUIDs, so I'll just delete this, all of this stuff later on. All applications. Hey. Yeah. As I expected, many identities don't have an. Uh, so, what I need to add over here <coughs> is a client ID, and I don't have a client ID for many identities. So, okay. They talk about another kind of work. No problem. So I did add scopes. What are, you afraid of? are there any other things I can add groups to optional claims? Optional claims are used to figure.
application to request the token directly. I'm not sure if I need this. I don't know. Learn more on the implicit grant. Okay, so I guess not. Presents more risks. What does it do? It's for a spa. No, I don't need this one. I need to open it. I did most of the stuff I want to do today. So I have this this group, this application. I also have this application. I'll add secure API conferences also. Here I have the API. Because I know I need this. Oh, what was it? What did I use on the other? Annoying. Okay. What was it? Authentication, where was it? No. There it is. Great new. Okay, the manifest security groups. Security groups say uh did I mistype it? Where was it? Security group. API permissions, expose an API, set, save, oh, I had a scopes, I custom scopes and restricts data access. So I don't think I need this, because in order to do this, you need to have a client application, and I don't have, I don't have it. I just have an identity. So let's skip it for this application. So I did all this stuff. Next time I will be adding some authorization based on groups, authorized requests. Yeah. So next time I will be adding some authorization and API endpoints in order to do some validation and make requests to those endpoints in order to validate if my well authorization works. So that's it for this evening. Um, 
I couldn't do everything I wanted to do because I don't have because I don't have a tenant which allows me to work with application roles. Normally, if you have if you're in an organization, you probably have an Active Directory B1. I don't know if I have the pricing still open. No. But the P1 is a rather normal to have. P2, I don't see a lot of people using it, a lot of organizations, maybe the bigger ones. Um, so you can use application roles when, that, when, in, in, uh, when in those uh, organizations. I've already used, uh, used out my trial, so I can't use it at the moment. I will check if I can create a new tenant with a new Azure subscription in order to do all of this stuff over there. Uh, I will do this off stream because it's not very interesting to check, uh, but I'll let you know. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next week on Monday 2030. I'll try to be there in time and uh, have a good one. Thank you.